Alright guys, next stop here is Ainsworth State Park on historic Route 30. Let's go. Welcome everyone to Horsetail Falls, our next stop in the gorge. Oh my gosh. Look at this one, guys. You can actually get right down in here, too. Amazing. Just beautiful. We should put our water shoes on and get our balls on. Yeah. Or take, just take our shoes off and walk in there. All right guys, so we made a little roadside stop here off the highway, off of Highway 84, to a local fish hatchery at the Bonneville Dam. And this is a national historic site within the Columbia River Gorge. And they raise basically a variety of fish here. I believe, uh, I'm actually not really sure what type of fish, hopefully we can find out what type of fish is in here at the hatchery, but they release them back into the river, so that's really cool. Beautiful buildings and everything here. This is a little gift shop called Spruce Gifts and Provisions. Nice building. Love the fountain out front too. <laughs> Would you buy that? Uh... Oh, Sasquatch. So yeah, this is the uh, another one of the hatcheries over here. I love that mountain in the background too. Oh, that's pretty. And as you can see, all of these hatcheries are drained over here. But this is where it all happens. 
beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys this place just to give you guys an idea what this whole area is about. Oh, look at that. Look at that tree. Wow, is that nice? It's in a tree, Luke. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Massive. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Stand next to it. All right, guys, so here's the Bonneville Hatchery sign. And I'm guessing over here, as you guys can see, there's uh, the trout ponds over there as well as sturgeon. So they have a variety of different types of fish here that they release back. You know what? I am going to grab one of these too. So that way I can put all the information down below for you guys. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of exploring around here, and then we're gonna continue our waterfall adventure in the Columbia River Gorge. This is definitely a National Historic Site and very uh, scenic site, because it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, so I have found where the adult salmon are being raised over here. At least I think so. Look at these flowers, beautiful. All right, guys, so they have like little exhibits here explaining all the history and stuff. It says Bonneville Hatchery has been operating since 1909, producing various species of salmon and trout. Originally called the Central Salmon Hatchery, Bonneville raised eggs taken at other hatcheries. And then the original hatchery was designed to rear 60 million eggs in 262 hatching troughs. There was 104 nursery ponds and one large dirt rearing pond. Wow, that's amazing. Very cool stuff here, guys. Maybe this is it over here. That must be some of the ponds back there, as you guys can see. All right, guys, here's where they are. There they are. Oh my gosh. They're jumping like crazy. Wow. That is crazy. Oh, jeez.
looks like this is the historic home. Right, guys there's like a little historic home over here really nice I love their flowers out here all right guys so that was a nice little detour let's go take a quick look in that gift shop yeah. see if there's uh, anything nice in there and then we're gonna go to the next stop All right, guys, so this is the cup that I purchased, the falls of the Columbia River Gorge. As you can see, there's Joaquina Falls, Shepherdsdale Falls, Multnomah, Laterell, and Horsetail Falls that we visited. So now we are going to go back on Highway, the scenic Highway 30. We bought this at that Spruce Gifts and Provisions, a beautiful store. So, yeah, guys, we're going to return now to that scenic Route 30 and kind of cut back towards that Ainsworth State Park that we were at before and visit the rest of the waterfalls within the Columbia River Gorge. So sit back and enjoy the rest of the journey for today. guys next stop in the gorge is the beautiful Wakina Falls and one of my favorite trails too because it's right off the road 
as you guys could see from the route here, we're right here. Wakina Falls is here, the viewpoint. We were just by Multnomah Falls as well as the gorge. So we basically cover this whole entire area in the drive. That water is chilly. It tastes good though. All right guys, so if you wanna to get to this trail, you have to go across the bridge and then it's only 0.2 miles to the right. So we basically made the mistake beforehand. This one's all right. There's Fairy Falls. Oh wow, there's a lot of trail, or a yeah. lot of falls here. Wisen Danger Falls, Dutchman Falls. Jeez. it's a lot. We won't have time to do it all though. This is amazing, guys. We did it. Oh my god. So we finished up here at Wakina Falls. We're driving on the state highway or the scenic route 30. And as you can see, it's uh, currently sunset. It's a gorgeous sunset too. So yeah, guys, uh, basically the plan right now is we're driving on this road all the way up to this Vista point. It's called the Vista house, I think. And we're gonna try to fly the drone for sunset. So that's the plan.
welcome to our last stop here today in Oregon for day one of our adventures. We're at Guy Talbot State Park, and this is the last waterfall here for today that we're going to see. It's called Lateral Falls. I think the sign, is there any information on that over there? I get the sign for sure. Okay. I don't know. Uh, let's see, guys, how long. Point two. They said it's a nice view. Oh, okay. A couple just said it was a nice view. Perfect. Then, as you guys can see, here's a nice uh, chart up here. It shows you the driving distance from Lateral Falls to all these various sites, oh, as well as hiking distances. So, there's a nice chart right there if you want to freeze the video. And then, this is where we traveled from here today, all along this route. Tried to cover as much as we could. We got it all. Ainsworth State Park. Yeah, we did. We really did. We drove the entire way, so. All right, let's go over here to a, the sign real quick. We'll get this adventure going. All right, guys, it's getting dark here in the gorge. We gotta try to hurry this hike up. There we go, guys. Oh my God, look at those beautiful basalt columns. Oh my gosh. That's remarkable. Nice. guys we're gonna go for it
Alright guys, our last stop here is the Vista House. There it is, way in the distance. Thank you guys for watching today's adventure to Columbia River Gorge in Oregon, and stay tuned for more hiking adventures coming soon.